hello friend in this video i am going to show you how to convert a pega page to a json string how to convert a pega object or pega page into a json string okay which is nothing but a serialization in pega which is nothing but a serialization in pega i have created a one activity uh, in this activity I have just applied some property set. So the property set contains some list of properties and its values. Okay, now see here a property set country details. This country code is 90 and the country description is Japan and country name is equal to Japan. And here I am using param dot execution mode is serialization serialize because in my past video also i have explained about the deserialization in this video i am i am explaining about the serialization serialization is nothing but a converting a pega page into the json string okay now in my last video that means in the deserialization we need to pass the param dot execution mode is a deserialize and the param dot json data we have to pass the json string but it is vice versa so in the deserialization converting the json into a page so now we need to pass some we need to prepare or we need to pass some json data input string but now here vice versa we are converting the page to json string so ultimately the param dot json data is empty value initially after you convert after you convert your pega page the converted json string is available in the param dot json data parameter that's why let me show you for example uh, property set country detail this is the pages and classes country detail is data country now i am setting these parameters sorry properties country code country description country name etc and the param dot execution mode is serialized and param dot json data is empty now after that we are using the apply data transform json okay now serialize serialize json serialize json your wish i'm going to create a new data transform and pass current parameter page i'm going to create now here you must select the json data transform type is json now here select the json now as usual i am selecting my class name data country click on country sorry click on create and open so now here there are two options one is auto map all the data and if you want to explicitly map you can map the data so what i am doing is auto map all the data just click on save just click on save now when you create the json data transform when you create the json data transform see the parameters here once um, there are two parameters so one is the execution mode either serialize or deserialize one is a json data so json data here the incoming or outgoing json data that means here incoming or outgoing that means this is acts as a input parameter for the deserialization and it will act as an output parameter for the serialization. Serialization means converting the pega page to JSON. In that case, uh, after serialization, the generated JSON string will be stored or saved into this JSON data parameter. That's why initially I set initially i set this json data is empty here but in case of deserialization we have to set the json data as a string value now convert when you run this when you run this activity now this pega page country details is converted into the json format or json string the generated json string value is saved into in which parameter param.json data why because see this one here the param.json data is 
inbound sorry incoming as well as outgoing now after that what i did is i am just saving that param.json data to this property in the clipboard just i want to show you that value into the clipboard since in my tracer i am not able to see the parameters that's why now just click on save now what is my pega page country details how many properties three properties country code country description and country name now run this one action run click on run done open the clipboard here is my run record primary page here see this one answer one the generated json string is px obj class uh, country name japan country description japan and country code is 90 this is the generated json string after converting or after serializing your pega page okay now now let me change it so now country code right now what i am doing is i'm just want to add one more parameter country id dot country id is also ja now just click on save now this time the not country name is japan india our country description is india and in now just click on run okay what happened something there is a some okay let's see what is the error messages now click on run once again open the tracer okay now let me run this why i'm getting the error this time So okay, exception. There are some exceptions related to the country ID. I know this. Okay, let's see. Property value invalid country ID two integer invalid number format was given in. Okay, that country ID should be number. So we have given actually a string country ID country code. I am just giving in. That is the problem. Now just to save. Now let me run this. Once again, just to save. Because this country ID is integer. Actually, I have given as a string. That is the problem. Click on run, run. Oh, once why what happened? Click on run. Now, what is the exception? Country code pega to integer invalid number format. Okay, this time country code also 90. I just want to give it as a 90. Okay, success. Now open the clipboard. Now you can see the run record primary page. I'm setting that param.json data into the property country 
port 90, country ID, etc. like this. Okay, now you can convert your page to JSON. Now what I am going to do now, so there is a data transform, right? Apply data transform, serialize JSON. Here, open the definition. Here, auto map all the data. Now what I want to do, I want to map explicitly. I want to map explicitly. That means I want to map each and every pega properties into the JSON. So set, what is this dot clipboard, right? Country code. Now in JSON, in the generated JSON format, how that key should be present. Now what I can do is C code like this. Okay. Now dot country description C description dot country id c id now i add an element dot country name c name so now save now run the data run the activity once again action run because in the previous uh, in the previous implementation, auto mapping automatically whatever the properties names which are present in that page, those properties will be added as a JSON keys. Now you can you can define your own JSON format, whatever the keys you want. Just click on run. Go to the clipboard now. Run record primary page. Now see this one. C code equal to 90. C description equal to India. C ID is equal to 90. Now if you want, you can map that PXOBJ class also. You can map it. So here you are explicitly mapping. You are explicitly mapping or you are explicitly generating the JSON key and values. So here JSON means uh, JSON is nothing but a key value notation. So you are defining your own keys instead of auto mapping. And uh, what about this empty behavior? I will show you, you can understand now, just with example. Now here, what I am doing is some country name, I just keep it as empty. Just click on save. Just click on save. Now come back here. Now we have empty behavior, empty behavior. Let's see now, just run not this one right action run click on run go to the clipboard run record primary page c code 90 c description india cid 90 and c name is empty which is nothing but some default values now what I am doing is uh, skip, skip, I am selecting empty behavior is skip. Now let's see, save, go to actions, action, run, click on run. Go to the clipboard. Run record primary page. See C code equal to 90. C description equal to India. C ID is equal to 90. Where is the C name? Because here what you selected is skip. That means if any property having a empty value, that property can be skip while formatting the JSON string or while generating or while preparing the JSON string that is the call it as a empty behavior is skip now what I am doing is by default it has a default value by default now if you want you can keep it as a null also if you want you can keep it as a null save now H act run click on run Open the clipboard. Run record primary page. See this one. If any property value having an empty, 
that means you are setting that value as a null you are setting the value with the null that's why here in the json data transform mt behavior we have three types of options one is a default value null and skip null skip means if any property having empty value then you can skip that property while generating the json or else null means you can set with null value default value means by default whatever the value it has it can keep it as it is okay and uh, that's all about for today in this video i will make another video for arrays thank you so here i'm just here the generated this this data transform is apply data transform right serialized json actually after executing this j data transform that generated json is available in this parameter in this parameter in my tracer i'm not able to see the parameters that's why i set this parameter to my property set dest answer one and param dot json data okay thank you